Hey guys, what's going on? I got another uh, interesting one for you. So we're doing like a new genre completely with this Fiverr request. Uh, so this one is coming from Respect Aurora on Fiverr or uh, Kurt and S on YouTube. And what they do is like scary like kind of stories and stuff like that. Uh, so we're gonna do like a, I guess, like scare PewDiePie type thing with me. Kyle's feedback. I'm a rapper, reactor here on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, TikTok, DoorDash, whatever you're on. Probably there. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, apparently a scary story called La Mala Hora. I, I believe it would be Hora, which was Spanish. If not, it's Hora or something. I'm not really too sure what we got going on with that. But I figured if we're going to do a scary story, might as well. Dim the lights a little bit. Put on some headphones for immersion and get to it. So, uh, without further ado, uh, here is La Mala Hora by Kern S. Let's go. You know, when you get a bad feeling about something and it just eats away at you. Well, I have a story to tell on why you make it that bad feeling. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as extreme as this young lady's experience, but it's still extreme nonetheless. With that being said, let's begin. My friend Isabella called me one evening before dinner she was sobbing as she told me that she and her husband Enrique were getting divorced. He had moved out of the house earlier that day and Isabella was distraught. I called my husband who was on a business trip in Chicago and he agreed that I should go stay with Isabella for a few days to help her during this difficult time. I packed a small suitcase and got right into the car. It was late and it would take me at least four hours to drive from my house to Santa Fe. Isabella was expecting me to arrive around midnight. As I traveled down the dark wet highway, I kept feeling chills, as if someone or something were watching me. I kept looking in the rearview mirror and glancing into the back seat. No one was there. Don't be ridiculous, I told myself. Wishing fervently that I was home in my bed instead of driving on a dark, rainy highway. There was almost no traffic, and I heartily wished that I would soon reach Santa Fe. I turned off the highway Santa just before really I reached nice the too. city and started down the side roads that led to Isabella's house. As I approached a small crossroad, I saw a woman step into the street directly in front of my car. I shrieked in fright and slammed on my brakes, praying I would miss her. The car shuddered to a halt and I looked frantically around for the woman. Then I saw her, right beside my window, looking in at me. She had the face of a demon twisted. <coughs> Eyes glowing red and short pointed teeth. I screamed as she leapt at my window her clawed hand striking the glass. I put my foot down on the accelerator and the car leapt forward. For a few terrible moments, she ran alongside the car, keeping up easily and striking at me again and again. Then she fell behind and in the rear view mirror, I saw her growing taller and taller until she was as large as a tree. Red light swirled around her like mist and she pointed after me, her mouth moving though I could not make out the words. I jerked my attention back to the road, afraid of what might happen to me if my car ran off the street. I made it to Isabella's house in record time and flung myself out of the car, pounding on her door frantically and looking behind me to see if the demon-faced woman had followed me. Isabella came running to the door and let me in. Shut the door, shut it! I cried frantically brushing past her into the safety of the house. Jane, what is wrong? She asked, slamming the door shut. She grabbed my hand and led me into the living room. 
I sank onto the couch and started sobbing in fear and reaction. After several minutes, I managed to gasp out my story. Isabella gasped and said, Are you sure you were at a crossroads when you saw her? I nodded, puzzled by her question. It must have been La Malahora, Isabella said, wringing her hands. Oh, that's the bad hour, I asked. This is bad, Jane. This is very bad, Isabella cried. La Malahora only appears at a crossroads when someone is going to die. Ordinarily, I would have laughed at such a superstition, but the appearance of the demon woman had shaken me. Isabella got me a cup of hot cocoa, brought my luggage in from the car, and sent me to bed. She was so concerned for me that she didn't once mention the divorce of Enrique. I felt much better the next morning, but I could not shake the feeling of dread yeah, that grew within me all day. Neither of us mentioned La Malahora, but we were both thinking of her when I told Isabella that I wanted to go home. Isabella insisted on accompanying me. I flatly refused to drive after dark. I was afraid I would see the demon woman again when I passed the crossroads. We left the next morning, and we hadn't been home more than 20 minutes when a police car pulled into my driveway. I knew at once what it meant, and so did Isabella. The officers spoke very gently to me, but nothing could soften the news. My husband had been mugged on the way back to his hotel after dinner last night. His body had not been found until the next morning. He had been shot in the head and was instantly killed. If you made it this far, congratulations. You now know about La Malahora. I want to give a special thanks to you, Belt Girl. She's the one that wrote this marvelous story. And on that note, good night. expecting like uh, another jump scare toward the end there to either be like the, the was it the police officer or even like a little prior to that I thought the uh, the mother was gonna just like be the demon or something like I possess I don't know figured there there'd just be another one because that first one really caught me off guard and like that started getting some like rising tension but uh, still it was cool like I, I've never really um, done like the like listening and kind of like not had like a visual to it or like well that was like a nice visual kind of like kept me uh in what i was supposed to be feeling and everything whereas uh i don't know just audiobook kind of style things i'm not good at visualization but that was dope though i like that uh definitely like gave me like some chills and everything like throughout you know like a little huh. uh hopefully the more la, la mala hora uh, it doesn't come out of the closet over here or that one back there. Um, yeah, that was pretty dope. Uh, if you like those kinds of things, I would say go subscribe to Kurt and S. That was, you know, awesome. Uh, but yeah, like the video. If you like the video, comment down below something about it uh, or about scary stories. If you have a better one, maybe let me know. Uh, and subscribe if you're not. Anyway, I'm going to walk awkwardly around the camera. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone over on the Patreon, the Reaction Faction, like the Juice Main, and the legend himself, Bobby Cheese. And if you want yourself shouted out in my videos, as well as your request on mandatory, well then go over and check out the Patreon and consider donating today. Anyway, I'm out. Over you, Joe.